Welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 3 of Trials and Tribulations. This week we're going to get into building the wheels. So we've only got a few parts here. First up for the wheel builds, we're going to start with a rim. So I managed to pick these up cheap, being that a rim on a trials bike is a pretty consumable sort of a part. Uh, this one here, the Spank Uzi, and this is made for a 2.8 to 3 inch tyre. And we're actually going to only run a 235 tyre on there to make it super stable through the sidewalls when you're on all sorts of random odd terrain. Pretty sturdy rim, or it feels like it anyway. Not super light, but that's all right. I'm gonna bash it on some rocks. So connecting the rim to the hub will be some pretty high quality spokes. These are the DT Swiss. I've gone with double butted. Um, so that gives a nice amount of flex versus strength without being too weak and noodly. If you go to the Revolutions, they just stretch and, and crap out really. Same with the uh, bladed ones, I'm not a big fan, but the, the round comp spokes is what I choose to build most of my wheels with. And the last part of the wheel build, the all important hub. I'm a bit of a hub snob, so I've been using Chris King hubs for the last 20 years on my bikes. So, and that being that after the first year of trials riding, I actually destroyed about eight different hubs before buying Chris King, outlaying the at that time, 850 bucks or something, to get one rear hub. Uh, but that lasted the rest of the time. I only changed my hub just for a different color or a different hub spacing from then on. So changing to the Industry 9 is a bit of a, a bit of a gamble, I guess. Um, they're a little bit cheaper than Chris King, a little bit lighter than Chris King. Um, but the thing I wanted to try was the fact that they have absolutely hundreds of engagement points. So Chris King has 72 engagements, an old classic old Shimano hub only has 16 engagement points. Whereas these things here, this is the new Hydra hub, has 690 engagement points. So there's very little deflection between um, when you crank back to, to load the power everything's just all go and hopefully that'll translate into smoother easier riding on the trials bike uh, let's get into this time lapse That was pretty quick with the rear wheel. Let's see if we can do the front wheel even quicker. Thanks for watching. We'll catch up next week for some tires and some cushcore.